Hey guys, this is Maline from Maline Budgets. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Travel Tuesdays. In today's video, we're doing the general vacation savings challenges. We're doing Marlene's book, The Life of a Pig Wants to Collect Memories, Not Things. So let's see how much money I have in the pouch. Since I don't have any ones, we'll have to make changes as we go. So let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 200. I hope your week started off well. Mine has been pretty busy. Uh, we're busy with the release, with the regression. Uh, we are um, supposed to be finishing today so we can release tomorrow. Fingers crossed, pause, toes, whatever you want. So I have my six-sided die right here because I have six challenges inside my binder. So let's so let's see which one's first. Number two, which is food. Number two is one of my challenges, the chimney cake one. I think we will be finishing it off today. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, this one is a seven. So let's check out the second envelope. Let me put one, two, and three back and take a 10. Let's see which one's next, number four. For number four, I decided to put in here another challenge from Marlene, uh, Christmas in July. She sent me this last year, it's just gorgeous. It has Fred Jr. Um, on a on a pineapple floaty, it's just brilliant. It has uh, all sorts of beach balls and Christmas balls underneath and also Georgette for $25. So I think we can manage this. Let's just do one. So this is a Christmas ball and it's only worth a 10. That's great, we don't want to finish off the challenge too early, too soon. So, okay, we'll, we'll just stay here. Let me do this one. This one is a beach ball for a five. Uh, I don't have any fives, let me see. Let me take two fives from here and put in a 10. And one five needs to go into Georgette. Let me scoot these a little bit here. Here it's not actually Christmas weather. Uh, we had 90 degrees weather, then uh, a tropical storm, and I didn't have power for one hour yesterday, so that was terrible. Number three is activities, and, and it is one of my cityscapes scratch-offs. I just love it. So let me just do this one. Okay, 11, so 10, and 11. Let me see if I have five here. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's see number five. Number five is transportation. And I switched uh, Janelle's challenge with this one from Budget by Jess. This one only adds up to 100, so it's perfect. So let me just go in order. Oh, I just love the cute tire design underneath. You did a great job, Jess. So let me find uh, two more fives here for a 10. And put a 15 into transportation. So 10 and 5. It's not like I'm not prepared, guys. Uh, I just don't have the funds. I don't have the spare change. So, so please bear with me. So let's see. Number one is Marlene's book. So we're going to put the money in here. And then at the end of the video, we'll put it all in the A5 envelope in her book. Because I don't want to do too much back and forth. So let's see which one of Marlene's challenges we're doing. Um, I'm just using a 12-sided die for now. Number 10. Okay, so number 10 is this one with the Senorita um, doing the... 
doing the run of the bulls in Pamplona. So let's see the first one. How much will we get? Okay, this one's just a three. It's very easy. Let me put the money here. So let's see number two, my challenge again. Okay, well at least this one is an even five. And speaking of food and um, and the restaurant bills in uh, Budapest, the way that you couldn't leave the table without uh, leaving there like a 20 up to a $50 uh, bill is for the fact that they add sort of like a tipping fee that's a default and every restaurant has a certain percentage like I've seen everything from a 10% up to 25% where we've been you can't even get a coffee without leaving a tip I know um, something that we love doing in Italy was uh, the fact that we would round up and in Spain was the fact that we would round up to the nearest euro or two euros for the coffees and to the next five for everything else. Um, most restaurants in Italy where you sit down they have a coperto fee which means you take a seat at their table, sometimes you have a reservation so of course you need to pay 10%. But these restaurants, <laughs> they're just ripping you off man in Budapest. Okay, so that was a six which means we're going to souvenirs. Since we're doing Christmas in July, let me do a dark wine red here, a burgundy. Okay, so only 10 going in here. Uh, let me see if I can do 10 for a 20. And these two 10s for another 20. Okay, and then I don't have any more. That's fine. Let's see, number two, we're finishing off my challenge. Okay, this one is a 10, so let's do this and take the last 20. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. This entire 75 goes at the back for the finished challenges envelope. I am so proud of how much we managed to save this month and how many we managed to complete. So let's see number five. Number five is the car from Jess once again. Please go show her some love if you want to favorite some of her challenges in the Etsy shop because I, as I told you guys uh, she currently doesn't have a job she, uh, she was laid off on the 20th of June so please um, try and see if you like anything I really love these nice even numbers today okay let's see number three so back to escaping from the city Or why not visiting a city that is new to us or um, or re-exploring your own city uh, through the eyes of a tourist, so to speak. So we owe a 7 for this one. So let's see, 1, 2, and 3 back and putting in a 10. This, uh, this cloudy yellow sky reminds me of the fact that yesterday uh, we had the... Uh, Saharian desert storm again and we had a bunch of sand <laughs> on all of the cars that was just crazy we've had that twice so far and the sky was like gloomy and yellowish I don't know so let's see which one is next we are back to car I don't know why I pulled the challenge from the envelope, but it's fine. Okay, so five coming out and ten going in. And the challenge as well. I'm not used to having challenges in these. Uh, so let's see. Number four again, Christmas in July. 
Okay, so let's see, let me do the first one. Okay, another Christmas bowl means just a 10. Number one, Marlene's book. So basically from Marlene to Marlene, but in a different form. Number, wrong die. Okay, so let's see. This is number eight. Let me flip to the correct page. Okay, number eight only has a couple of scratches on it and it's only three to eight. So let's see, uh, Twiggy, Georgette, what do you have in store for us? Okay, seven works because I can pull three ones from here and put in a ten. Let us see souvenirs. So this one is number six over here. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much to the like 10 to 15 people who actually watched the Budapest travel recap and uh, me unboxing the Georgette book. I know I don't ever do videos like that are 30 minutes long lately. They're just 6 to 15 minutes at the most, so I appreciate you guys for sticking through it. So this one's number 4, Christmas in July again. This is a Christmas ball worth 10. Okay, so let us see number 2. Number 2 is empty and it's for food. And let's do this fun food fund from Esther at My Money Matters. July will be the month of uh, festivals for us and there will be plenty of food trucks and uh, everything nice that you can <laughs> enjoy outside. Mostly like fast food and junk food, but it's, it's okay. So let's do, the, let's do the fried chicken bucket. And let's use the 20 sided die. To see how much we're saving okay only a five that was disappointing so let's just write a five here for the chicken I'm doing this because I want the challenge to last a bit longer okay number six souvenirs again so let me go here and add another ten Okay, this one is the car. Let me do this one because I scratched it a little bit. And as you can see, I'm not cheating. I'm just doing whatever the die tells me to. So we're just finishing what we're finishing every single time. Okay, so number one, Marlene's book. Okay, this one was out of... The cover but it's fine number seven this is the Bavarian or German uh, Georgette so let me just do this first one above the clock when it's a nine so let me see five six seven eight and nine no Wait, I know what to do. Let's go here into the Georgette envelope and do five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
for this thing here. And now I can actually put the nine in the envelope. So five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's see what else we're staying here. But which challenge? Number seven. So this one was seven. But we're going on the back side. So let's just do a hat for today for a five. One, two, three, four, five. So this cardstock that Marlene picked to have the book um, professionally printed on is amazing. I just love how the color turned out. It doesn't bleed onto the next page, but I would be uh, careful if you're using Sharpies or anything else that's alcohol based. So let's see what we're doing next, number four. We are back to Christmas in July. And this purple Christmas ball or bobble is worth a 10. And we are stopping here because the remainder of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This 16 is going into Anna's challenge here at the back in the tickets category. So I'll figure out what to color and be right back. I just did the easiest thing, two fives and a six. So let us take the money from the first envelope. And put it in its rightful place inside Marlene's book. We scratched off like uh, one thing on several pages. So, so far we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. We only have 45. We've done this only two videos now. And last time it was a bunch more than we did it today. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great Tuesday and rest of your week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.